I wanted to talk about several things that I very rarely hear on the news or in any type of media. And this is going on for like 10, 15 years already. One of those things that I heard only once, and I listen to the news and read the news a lot, only once they said that artificial scents are harmful, damaging to the nervous system. Now, I think the only reason they don't want to say it more than once is because it would harm their business, their income, because of their sponsors. Think about all the artificial scents uh, that are available in commerce. How about uh, dryer sheets? How about detergents? How about liquid detergent for the dishes? Um, I there's so many things. I mean, even clothing, new clothing that you buy in the store has a certain a certain uh, smell to it. I think they're putting some kind of perfume on it. I don't know. Another thing I don't hear very often, although it's available online, anyone who wants to research it, are the three main causes of cancer. How many times do you hear on the news that smoking, alcohol, and, ob and obesity are the three major causes of cancer? Think about their sponsors, um, beer, wine, bars, craft beer, obesity. Think about the restaurants, the sugar, fat-laden foods. I mean, they seem to care more about the economy and these very big companies that are their sponsors. What else? How about medical insurance? Lately I read, and th this is very frightening, that if COVID-19 continues to spread and cause so many problems, and our medical industry, hospitals, uh, etc., are overwhelmed, that they're going to start having to choose which person should get the treatment and which person we should just put in a bed in, in that corner room and just, you know, keep them clean but not give them any treatment because we don't have the protective gear, because we don't have the medication, because we don't have enough um, equipment, um, respirators. I mean, this is what they're saying. Uh, I don't read it in very many places, but it's there. So what happens? They want us to have medical insurance, but what good is medical insurance if they're not going to give you treatment because they think you're too old or that you have an underlying condition that's going to prohibit you getting better anyway and uh, you don't have a very much chance of surviving even with treatment. So what is that? Do we stop buying medical insurance because they're not going to treat us anyway? Um, these are frightening things and they don't want to frighten us. They want to keep us calm. They don't, they don't want us to uh, stop buying things, you know, whether it's uh, fragranced dryer sheets or um, going to restaurants or buying alcohol. Think of all the taxes that the alcohol industry pays to the government. Um, we have to think about these things. And I don't believe in um, protesting in the streets. I don't really think it does a lot of good. Many people get hurt, especially the protesters. I think it's better to, to protest with what you buy and what you don't buy what you participate in and what you don't participate in. Our most crimes at night don't go out at night. Our, our most uh, cases of COVID-19 caught in a bar or a restaurant um, or a beauty parlor um, or in a big gathering, then don't go to those places. 
there's a big difference between essential activities and non-essential. Grocery stores are essential. The medical industry is essential. Are schools, public schools essential? No. How many, you know, magnificent heroes in our country were homeschooled? Quite a few. Think about all these things. Um, some people, many people feel restricted now uh, lately in the way a society is changing and things we can't do. Are those things we can't do good, beneficial anyway? No. People think, you know, we're evolving, we're so modern. Aren't we devolving? Isn't it better to stay home, to have a garden, uh, to cook your own food, to spend time with family, to exercise? Think about these things.